In today's video, I'm on the uni fire doing up some wood-fired thin crust sausage pizza. Hey, this is Ricer from Dead Broke Barbecue Wisconsin and welcome back to the channel. But if you're new here, we try to help you enhance and amplify your backyard barbecue fun. And if you're looking for an uni fire, check out the links below, trust me. You'll thank me for it later. Now I'm starting to learn how to run the uni fire and I'm gonna tell you what, it's been a blast. So grab a peel and a bag of flour, Joe. It's time to amplify some backyard barbecue fun. In today's video, we're on the uni fire and we're gonna do up some thin crust sausage pizza. And it's even wood fired. Now the fire uses wood pellets and that is so cool and it's super simple to run. You're just gonna have to make sure that you're paying attention to the actual temperature in there and your pellets. But before I actually start making the pizza, I wanna tell you about a great book from a friend of mine. His name is Jim. And this is about 68 pages of greatness. He actually calls it how to make the greatest pizza on earth. And inside this 68 page book, Jim gets you going so you can make your own greatest pizza. He tells you how to make crust sauce and different types of toppings and different styles of pizza. And it's so easy to read that anybody can actually start making their own pizza at home. Just check the links below and you can get your very own copy. I think it's right around $13 and I can tell you I've wasted $13 on stuff that doesn't give me as much information that this book did. And I'm like the rest of you, I'm learning how to make my own homemade pizza on the uni fire itself. But what am I waiting for? Let's get the uni fire fired up. Now you're just gonna take your fuel tray and put two handfuls of pellets in it, along with a tumbleweed, and nestle it right in the center. Now just fire it up. Yeah, I got a big gun. And now just take the fuel tray and place it right in the uni fire. Up. Put on our door, and then give it about five minutes for those pellets to start to ignite in the fuel tray itself. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get one of my dough balls out, set it right there. And I'm pretty new at trying to roll out dough. So I'm actually gonna use a rolling pin instead. But first we'll just go ahead and we're gonna smush this dough out a little bit and we're just gonna roll it out. And that gluten in there is gonna actually kind of fight you. So just kind of roll it, try to make it as round as you can, and then just let it rest and relax a little bit again. And then we'll roll it one more time before we put it on the peel. All right, so it's been about five minutes. Let's just go ahead and look and see how our pellets are doing. Yeah, they're starting to look pretty decent, so we can go ahead and fill up the hopper. And that's pretty easy. They send you this little scoop. It's actually the cap for the chimney also. Just go ahead and start scooping it out. Now this is the only thing I wish that this was a little different because you end up spilling so many on here. So don't fill up this too full. If the top was a little more beveled, it'd be better. And they say that the hopper will last for about 15 minutes. So now we're gonna set a timer for about 15 minutes because we want that deck to get nice and hot and preheated. There's no sense to just go ahead and start cooking a pizza until that oven has come up to temperature. All right, our 15 minute timer went off. Let's go ahead and just check out the temperature on this deck. Yeah, she's looking about 820 some, 830. That's not too bad and you can see in there we're starting to burn into that. And now we're just gonna go ahead and we'll roll this out again. You can see this is starting to stretch decent. Now take your pizza peel and get some flour on top of that. And then just go ahead. Let's just get this right on the peel right here. Take a ladle of sauce, pour it right in the center. Start working it out. Get it all the way to the edges. Maybe you gotta add a little bit. And now you're gonna wanna use a coarser shred of mozzarella cheese because it's gonna burn with that real thin stuff in the uni fire. Go ahead, start sprinkling it on. For the sausage today, I'm just using some sweet Italian brats. Cut the casing off, you got the meat inside. Works great. But on these, you're probably not gonna wanna go too big because they don't cook very long in there. So you're gonna wanna make them a little smaller so that way they get cooked all the way through. And one thing you wanna make sure is that your pizza is slippery on this peel because you don't want it to be sticking because it's gonna end up flipping over inside the uni and you're gonna have a mess. Yeah. Let's just go ahead, slide it in there. And give it about 15 seconds and then we're gonna rotate it. Now this is also a good time, take a scoop, and just add it to your pot. All right, our 15 seconds up, let's go ahead and rotate this. 
you can see she's starting to cook on this side a little bit. Let's get it rotated about like that. Get it back in here. Do it for another 15 seconds. All right, so another 15 seconds. <laughs> get it, turn it, like so. And we're gonna do another 15 seconds. We're just kind of rotating it because again, we don't wanna cook this too quick. We want that bottom crust to get crispy, but not have the toppings burnt up either. Another 15 seconds. It's looking pretty good, but I'm gonna give her just a little bit more. There we go. Now it's our last one. Let's take a look at it. All right, so this is our first pizza off from here and it doesn't look too bad. Got a little char on the outside, but it's not overly burnt. Get this board and we'll just slide it right on here. We'll start cutting into one. Well, we got some crispiness there. Looks good. All right, so she's standing. It's pretty good. And we'll even check the bottom. That's not bad. Pretty good. I think we can go just a little bit longer on that crust, but we're zeroing in on it. Okay, so while we're doing this, we might as well make another one. And again, get that squirted out a little bit. And it's nice to have a bigger working area, but when you're filming, you're kind of stuck. I'm gonna need a bigger table, so it's got a little bit more room. Check our hopper. Yeah, we're burning pretty decent. You do have plenty of time in between making pizzas, but you're just gonna wanna make sure that you don't run out of pellets in it. That's the one thing that I have done on that test day. All of a sudden, like, oh, I don't have any pellets because it only really runs for about 15 minutes. And when you're dinking around, 15 minutes goes fast. So we're gonna roll this one last time. And I'm gonna say about like that. Get a ladle of sauce in there again. Grab our cheese, get some more sausage on there. Now you can go ahead and just slice these brats right up and put them on like a piece of pepperoni if you want to. Make sure that the pizza's sliding on this peel. Take off the lid and we can just actually hang it right here. Get it in. Now this has cooled down a little bit so this one might take even a little longer, we'll see. Check your hopper, eh, it's burning right about here. Now I didn't check the deck on this one, but I'm going by vision. I'm going by the look of it more than the actual time. Spinner again. And of course the camera went a little bit dead on us there. So you didn't see that last spin. I'm gonna say this one's probably pretty close, but let's go ahead and check her. Eh, just a hair more. It's a challenge, but it's fun. And that's the one thing about making pizza. It's never gonna turn out perfect until you've done it a lot. Yeah, she's looking pretty decent. I think this one's done. We're gonna call it done at least. Almost lost it. Got a good crunch on this one again. Now, I don't mind that it's charred on the back. I actually like that. And if you watch enough of my barbecue videos, you know I always say we like char. But the bottom of this crust looks pretty good. I mean, it's got a little cheetah print on it. Mm-hmm. Hand it off to the rest of them, and we're gonna make another one. Go ahead, sprinkle a little more flour on your board, grab another dough ball, and plop her on the table. And just keep the flour on it, man. That's the biggest thing that'll help it so it doesn't stick to the pin. And like always, go ahead and check your pot. Now you are going to see a little bit of creosote run down that pellet hopper, and that's normal because there's moisture in those pellets. They're just made from sawdust, compressed sawdust. But don't panic and worry if you see a little bit running down the back of it. That's normal. And it actually gives it a little bit of character. Yeah, I'm starting to like that. It always is gonna snap back a little bit. And a ladle. Start pushing it out. There's not much to this, to be honest with you. Add our sausage, just kind of squish them down. I think that's making them actually cook even better. Check our peel, oh yeah. Go ahead, I'm just gonna get it in here and put on the lid and then just start looking through your eye hole or just open up the lid and just check it because we're trying to achieve that nice little char on that outside of that edge of that crust. 
getting closer. So here's about 20 seconds now. And yeah, we got a ways. I have noticed that the dampener keeps falling down when you have it in the up position as you're working the fire up. So that's something you're gonna to wanna to make sure that that's not slowly closing all the way. Just take a look at it. Yeah, she's got a little longer. We're gonna let it go for a few more seconds. Let's check, we'll rotate it. See, she's starting just barely to start to cook. Now we've done two pizzas and the oven is starting to get a little bit cooler. Just open that dampener up full blast again. But there's some good heat coming off the top. So that was a good minute and that's looking a little better on this side. We'll just turn it and finish it up on this side. Give it about another 30 seconds and we'll just see. This one should be getting a little closer. So there's our 30 seconds. Yeah, it's not too bad on the outside. Looking pretty good. All right, so now let's just go ahead and cut it up. Not quite as straight, but bottom isn't as done either. Still passable, kids are still gonna eat it, but I still haven't achieved that perfect crust yet. And I almost think that that dampener falling down that far kind of snuffed out our pellets. All right, so I gave it about five minutes. Let's just check out and see what this deck is. Yeah, we're only at about 500 and some degrees, so we're gonna let her go a little longer. So I don't know if it's because I was opening it up or the dampener closed down on me, but I obviously lost a lot of my deck temperature and you're gonna wanna make sure that you're at least at 700 before you actually start cooking a pizza. But we did three pizzas pretty quick here. So I'm still very impressed with this. Let's hope that the fourth one ends up being our best one. But I'm learning just like you are. But we got time here, we might as well get our last dough ball out. Take it out of the bag and plop. Give her just a little bit of roll on it. You wanna make sure that you got plenty of flour on your board just so you don't have to run into it with it sticking or anything. I'm gonna check this deck temperature now and I'm hoping that I'm pushing closer to that 900, Jesus. Nope, we're still at 700. One thing I noticed that it was starting to clump up at the bottom of the pellet hopper. So I just went ahead and took a rod and kind of spread it out. And now I've got that rolling fire again. So I think as you're cooking longer, it actually just starts to weld up and you end up not getting those pellets to flow right on the fuel tray. So you're gonna probably wanna get a nice long rod type of steel that you can go ahead and wiggle it around a little bit so you can get it back cooking again. But we've got some good fire coming out of there now. So let's get that deck heated back up and then we're gonna finish one last pizza. All right, so I gave this about four minutes to heat up. Let's check out this deck and see if we're doing a little better on that temp. Oh yeah, we're at that 830, 840, 700, some in that back corner, but let's go ahead and get this pizza all sauced up and ready to go. Sprinkle a little more cheese on it. And I did notice on that first pizza that that sausage needed to be cooked just a little bit more. From all this excitement, I forgot to throw the pizza on the peel, so we're gonna have to be <laughs> acrobatic. Get this in. Put on our door, and I'm just gonna keep on looking through that hole and just watch. And once that cheese starts to bubble in there a little bit, then we'll rotate it. See what we got. Yeah, ain't too bad. Starting to get that nice little char. Get her out there and get her back in. Another 20 seconds. And let's go ahead and rotate it one last time. And let's see what we have. Now before I go ahead and pull it out, I'm gonna make sure that that backside is starting to get a little bit more crispy and then we'll pull it out, but we'll still check it in 20 seconds. All right, let's check. Let's see. We're gonna put it in there just a little bit, maybe 10 seconds. And I also went ahead and turned that dampener straight down. All right, let's look at it. Yeah, there we go. Looking pretty good. Take a big old cut out of it. 
Now this one's a lot crispier. There we go. It's so much better now. I got that deck up to 830 some degrees. It's a lot stiffer. Yeah! Crunchy on the bite? Hey, the fourth time's a charm, I guess. Oh yeah, much better. So moving forward, I'm gonna try to always hit right around that 800-ish temperature on that deck. That way I'm gonna get the crust where I like it. I like it crispy. I want some crunch with a little bit of char on it. I did it this time. Practice, practice, and practice. And once I saw that that was damming up, the pellets were actually starting to stick in that hopper. I just moved them out and look at I got a much better flame on top too. So there's a few tricks with this oven, but I'm gonna say for the backyard barbecue fun, it's a lot of fun. You gotta just try it. And once you start getting a feel for it, every single pizza that you pull off is gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. Mm. Delicious. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and become a subscriber. Turn on that notification bell because you don't want to miss my next video. Trust me, you don't. But I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. So it does a nice job of pushing it too. Yeah, it does. So you just let that sit in there and... We need a bigger one though. But the crust, bottom. <laughs> Almost want like a long thing that I could stick in there and then right next to your mouth, like a right corner. Oh. Is it there? <laughs> 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 <laughs>